Welcome to another GCSEP related video with Mr. Matthews. Before we begin, as always, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. In a recent video, we looked at muscular contractions and in today's video, we will develop and build on this by looking at antagonistic pairs. So what is an antagonistic pair I hear you say? Well, antagonistic pairs are muscles that work in partnership with each other. So as one muscle contracts and shortens, the other relaxes and lengthens. The muscle that contracts and shortens is known as the agonist slash prime mover. So ultimately, it's the muscle that's responsible for the movement that takes place. Whereas the antagonist is the muscle that lengthens and relaxes. So now we've established the definition and some of the key terms associated with this topic, you need to know and understand muscles that work together. So to begin with, you have the biceps and the triceps located in the upper arm. You have the quadriceps and the hamstrings located in the upper leg. You have the tibialis anterior and gastric nemius located in the lower leg. You have the hip flexors and the gluteals located at the hips. And you also have the pectorals and the latissimus dorsi located in the upper body. So let's look at some sporting examples in which antagonistic pairs can be seen in action. During the upwards phase of a bicep curl, the bicep is the agonist, also known as the prime mover, as it shortens and contracts and is therefore responsible for the movement that takes place, otherwise known as flexion whereas the tricep is the antagonist as it relaxes and lengthens. During the downwards phase, the rolls reverse as the tricep initiates extension of the arm and therefore becomes the agonist or prime mover as it shortens and contracts, whereas the bicep is now the antagonist as it relaxes and lengthens. During a ballet routine, a person will perform a range of actions involving jumps, twists and turns. And these are frequently performed on point, which refers to the performer being up on the tips of their toes. During this, the gastric nemius is the agonist, also known as a prime mover, as it shortens and contracts. And it is therefore responsible for plantar flexion occurring at the ankle. Whereas the tibialis anterior is the antagonist as it relaxes and lengthens. Let's move into our final sporting action, the striking of a football. During the preparation phase of striking a football, the hamstring initiates flexion of the knee and is therefore the agonist or prime mover as it shortens and contracts, whereas the quadricep is the antagonist as it relaxes and lengthens. During the follow through, the opposite occurs as the quadriceps initiate extension of the knee, making it the agonist or prime mover as it shortens and contracts whereas the hamstring is now the antagonist as it relaxes and lengthens. I'm now going to give you an exam question associated with one of the examples just discussed. I would like you to provide as much detail as possible and share it in the comment section below. And that concludes another video. Today we have looked at antagonistic pairs, identifying the agonist and antagonist in different sporting actions. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do not forget to like this video and do not forget to share your responses with me. I look forward to reading them. Thanks for your time. Goodbye. Take care.